praise the name of the living God. My names are Pastor Josiah from Rebuilding Broken Walls Ministry. I serve under the anointing of Pastor Grace. I want to welcome you to today's Thursday edition. It's a teaching and deliverance session. And uh, our scripture reference for today is First Peter chapter 1 from verse 18. We are talking about the precious blood, the power that is in the blood of Jesus. Verse 18, I read. Since you know that you are not redeemed from corruptible things as silver and gold, from your vain manner of life received by tra tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish. You can underline the word precious blood. We are talking about the precious blood. He was the only son of God. Jesus was the only son of God. But for God so loved the world that he gave his only son, only begotten son. We are talking about how precious is that blood. As of a lamb without blemish. We are talking about a lamb without blemish and without spot. The children of Israel were told to give their sacrifices, to offer a sacrifice without blemish. To offer, you need to offer to God what is without blemish. That means it should be precious. That is the sacrifice. That is the, the sacrifice is something that you give out of a, the, your comfort zone. But an offering is something you give within your comfort zone. So Abraham was told to give his only son. That was a precious thing that God was asking from him. And this is what God did. He gave his only son. And the blood that was from Jesus, it was so precious. And it was a redemption of, of mankind from sin. So uh, my topic today is understanding the power that is in the blood of Jesus. And uh, for us to understand this, I want to take you scripture after scripture, revelation after revelation. And uh, you can write down coming of Jesus Christ. So we already see the coming of Jesus Christ was prophetic. And anything prophetic, it means power. Anything prophetic, it comes from the powerful man of God. The birth of Jesus was a fulfillment of the prophetic words from the prophet Isaiah. We are talking about a prophet, a man of God in the Old Testament. So we are seeing Jesus Christ is coming to connect the Old Testament and the New Testament. Jesus Christ is coming to connect the, the, the spirits, the God spirit in the prophets of in the Old Testament and the prophets in the New Testament. We are seeing that Jesus is connecting us with the prophet of Moses. is connecting us with the prophet Elijah is connecting us with the spirit of Moses who, use, who, who was using the rod, the rod of God. We are talking about Moses who released the ten plagues and the last plague was the plague of the, the, the firstborn. We are talking about Elijah who stood in front of Ahab and said that it will not rain. We are talking about Elijah who stood before Jezebel, the cruel king. And uh, we want our first scripture is Matthew 17. Matthew 17. We are seeing the transfiguration of Jesus. The transfiguration of Jesus brought in two prophets. Verse chapter 17. After the six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John, his brother, and brought them up into a high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them, and his face did shine. As the sun and his clothing was white as the light and behold they appeared unto them Moses and Elijah so we are seeing Jesus connecting himself with the spirits of the Old Testament we are seeing the power Moses came to 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 to, to empower Moses came to strengthen Jesus in his ministry we are seeing Elijah coming we are seeing the spirit of Elijah coming to strengthen Jesus that means when you plead the blood of Jesus, you are actually pleading 
together with the spirit of Moses. You are actually sending the spirit of Moses. You are actually sending the spirit of Elijah. That's why when you plead the blood of Jesus, miraculous acts happen. Miraculous actions happen. If somebody was healed and you plead the blood of Jesus, then there is instant deliverance and healing. We are talking about the power that is in the blood. So when you mention the, the blood of Jesus, you are actually awakening the spirit of Moses. We all understand what Moses did. We are talking about Moses, a man who dealt with Zata and, and Korah. A man who dealt with Zata and Korah by just making a, pray, a prayer and the earth opened and swallowed the two men. We are talking about that power. Power to command the ground to open and swallow your enemies. Power to command the ground to deal with your enemies. We are talking about Moses who made a way in the Red Sea and dealt with the enemies and dealt with the armies of Pharaoh. Begin to declare the blood of Jesus. Begin to declare the blood of Jesus. Declare, declare, make declarations. Declare, plead the blood of Jesus in your business. Plead the blood of Jesus in your family. Plead the word of Jesus in your finances. Begin to receive finance, financial masses. Begin to receive power. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus in your ministry. New revelations. You'll receive new revelations. Because Jesus Christ was born out of the fulfillment of the prophetic word of the prophet Isaiah. So we are seeing uh, Jesus coming in to awaken the spirit of God, to awaken the powerful spirit of God. We are talking the spirits of Elisha. We are talking the sp about the spirit of uh, prophet Jeremiah. We are talking about the spirits of uh, Daniel. Hallelujah. Let me take you to Matthew chapter 1. We want to see the, the coming of Jesus Christ. The genealogy of Jesus is again powerful. How Jesus came in the world is so powerful to even make his blood more powerful. We are seeing, uh, that is Matthew 1. We are seeing... Uh, a connection of Jesus with the altar builders. We are talking about people who built God altars. We are talking about Abraham who built several altars to God. We are talking about Isaac who raised so many altars to God. We are talking about Jacob who even slept after he was running away from his brother Esau and saw an open heaven. We are talking about Jacob, who saw an a portal of heaven, and he saw the angels coming down in a ladder. There was a long ladder. We are, we are, we are talking about Jesus. Jesus' foundation is built on uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are seeing how powerful the foundation of Jesus is. We are seeing how powerful the blood of Jesus is because it is coming up out of the foundation of our father Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac. Matthew chapter 1, the book of genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David. We are talking about, he is the son of David. We are talking about David who killed Goliath. We are talking about David, a warrior a mighty warrior, a mighty man of valor. We are talking about David who smashed uh, the, 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 the armies, the Philistines, the Amorites. We are talking about David who smashed the other uh, generation of Goliath. We are seeing the power. Jesus is connected with David. So we are seeing the power that is in the blood of Jesus. We are seeing the spaces that Jesus is carrying. Powerful. We are seeing the power to get into battle. We are seeing the power that was in David. The blood of David is in the, the, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus.
Begin to call upon the blood of Jesus. Plead the blood of Jesus for your ministry. There is power in that blood. When you mention the power of the, the, the blood of Jesus, the blind will see. We are talking about the deaf must hear. We are talking about every chronic illness. Just mention the blood of Jesus. There is power in that blood. Hallelujah. We are talking about Abraham. Jesus is connected to Abraham. You can find that in Genesis 12. When you read Genesis chapter 12, what is the Bible saying about uh, Abraham? Genesis chapter 12. We are, we are seeing uh, Abraham as an altar builder. Somebody who built several altars to God. And we are talking about Abraham who carried the covenant of God. God made a covenant with Abraham. Genesis chapter 12. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get out of your country and from your kindred and from your father's house into the land that I will show you. Chapter 2, uh, verse 2. You can underline verse 2. And I will make you a great nation. We are talking about a foundation that was meant to be great. We are talking about the blood of Jesus coming from a foundation with the covenant of God that it will be great. And make your name great. And you shall be a blessing. So we are talking about a foundation that is full of a uh, covenant of blessing. We are talking about the blood of Jesus with a blessing. When you plead the blood of Jesus, you are talking about being great. You are talking about having a blessing. You are talking about opening your blessings. Verse 3. And will bless them that bless you. And curse him that curses you. And in you shall all families of the earth be blessed. That means when you call upon the blood of Jesus... You are calling upon the blessings of God. You are calling, you are, you are reopening your blessings. Hallelujah. Plead the blood of Jesus for your businesses. Plead the blood of Jesus for whatever you are doing with your hands. It's going to be great. You will receive greatness in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us look at uh, the same Genesis uh, verse 15. Same Genesis verse 15. Uh, from verse 8. We are talking about the altars that Abraham built. And that is the same foundation that Jesus Christ is standing on. And he said, from verse 8. And he said, Lord God, how shall I know that I shall inherit? And he said unto him, Take me a heifer, a heifer three years old, and a female goat three years old, and a ram three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. And he took unto him all these, and divided them in the midst, and laid each piece, one against another. But the birds divided them not. Hallelujah. We are seeing God giving a direction to Abraham on what to give. And after doing, after raising this altar, when you read the next chapter, we are seeing that there is there are God sent angels to bring a message to Abraham that Sarah will have a son. That is the same altar, that is the same foundation that Jesus Christ is standing on. Hallelujah. And other several altars. We are talking about Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our fathers. That is the genealogy of Jesus. Now we understand the power that is in the blood of Jesus. And uh, we are also seeing that uh, the birth of Jesus was a fulfillment of the prophetic word from the man of God, Isaiah. You can find that in uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 7. Let us move to the book of Isaiah chapter 7. We want to see that prophetic word. The birth of Jesus was a fulfillment of uh, the word of from a man of, of God, prophet Isaiah. Anything that is prophetic has power. 
anything that comes from a, a prophetic word of a man or a woman of God, it is always powerful. It is it has authority. It has dominion. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 7. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and he shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. And we are seeing that, the fulfillment of that uh, promise, the fulfillment of that prophetic word. You can find that in Luke. I want to read the book of Luke 1. Luke chapter 1. We are seeing the fulfillment of that prophetic word. Fulfillment of that prophetic word. Luke 1 and verse 35. I read verse 35. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also that holy thing which you shall be born, you shall be shall be called the son of god we are talking about you can underline the holy thing so right from the birth of jesus christ we are talking about holiness we are talking about a holy thing and his name shall be called the son of god son of god means emmanuel god with us hallelujah we are seeing right from the birth of jesus there is power in that blood there is power in that blood of that child. The blood in that child is so powerful. The blood in that child is so precious. The blood in that child is so godly, is so holy. That means there is power in that blood. It, this is the, the blood that will overcome illness. It is the blood that overcomes every curse in your life. It is the blood that overcomes every witchcraft in your life praise the name of the living god begin to plead the blood of jesus call upon the blood of jesus in your business call upon the blood of jesus in your in your job call upon the blood of jesus in your ministry you need the blood of jesus whatever was dead in your life we are talking about the blood with the power of resurrection whatever was dead in your life may it receive resurrection today whatever was dead Whatever business was dead in your life, may it begin to raise again. We are talking about the power that is in the blood, the resurrection power. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Now you can write a, a small subtopic. Uh, we want to see the composition of the blood of Jesus Christ. What is it in that blood that makes it precious? What is it in that blood that makes it, makes it uh and corrupted what is it in that blood that is without blemish makes it a blood without blemish point number one there is power of the holy spirit in that blood hallelujah and the book of luke is confirming that when you read from verse 35 and the angel answered and said unto her the holy spirit shall come upon you so the birth of Jesus was through the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is involved here in that blood. Point number one. There is power of the Holy Spirit in that blood. That's why when you plead the blood of Jesus, sickness will go. When you plead the blood of Jesus, demons will go. When you plead the blood of Jesus, even witchcraft will not dare to come near you. Praise the name of the living God. Point number two, the power of God is in that blood. Power of God is in that blood. Because when you read the same Luke uh, chapter 1 and verse 35, and the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. We are talking about the power of the highest, power of the most high, power of the living God. So in that blood, there is power of the most highest. Praise the name of the living God. Another component, another point. In that blood, there is a component to save you from sin. 
Jesus Christ is our savior. He died on the cross so that he can save us. He can save the world. He was the savior of the world from sin. Jesus is our savior. There is that power to save. Power to save you from poverty. Power to save you from uh, uh, death. Power to save you from the valley and shadow of death. There is that power in that blood. Point, another point. Power of resurrection. The composition of the blood has the power of resurrection. We are talking about the power of resurrection. When Jesus went to uh, visit uh, Lazarus and comfort the sisters of Lazarus, we are seeing the power of resurrection. You can find that in John, John 11. John 11. John 11. We can start from verse 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. And I knew that you hear me always. But because of the people who stand by me, I said that they may believe that you have sent me. And when he, he had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth bound hand and foot with grave clothes and his face was bound about with the cloth jesus said unto them lose him and let him go we are talking about the power of resurrection jesus died and raised on the third day he has the power of resurrection he has the power to roll out the stone that blood the blood of jesus has the power to roll away every stone that is standing in front of you begin to plead the blood of jesus every stone that is standing before you every veil that is standing next to you that is standing in front of you must be torn from the bottom top to the bottom begin to plead the blood of jesus every stone must be rolled away for you to resurrect every stone must be rolled away come out of that grave plead the blood of jesus and you'll come out of the grave plead the blood of jesus in your business and it will come out of that grave of losses plead the blood of jesus plead plead the blood of jesus just open your lips begin to raise your voice just raise your voice raise your cry unto god raise your cry unto the most high through the name of jesus there is power hallelujah let us go to the book of uh, uh, the same book of John. I want to take you to the book of John 3. John chapter 3. John chapter 3 and verse 14. Verse 14. I read. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whatsoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. So in the Old Testament, Moses raised the bronze serpent. Why? Why did Moses raise the bronze serpent? And we are, we are connecting it with the Son of Man who is Jesus, shall also be lifted up so that whoever believes in him shall have eternal life. You shall have salvation. Now you can write down why did Moses, why did Moses lift up the bronze serpent? Why was Moses advised to make a bronze serpent? Why? Number one, there were fiery serpents to bite them. We are seeing that uh, when you read the book of Numbers, the book of Numbers, Numbers 21, Numbers 21, 
Numbers, the book of Numbers, chapter 21. Uh, from verse 9. From verse 9. Let us start from verse 8 so that we can get it clear. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make you a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looks upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of bronze and put it on a, upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of bronze, he lived. So we are seeing that uh, the children of Israel did evil against the, the eyes of God. And uh, God released a fiery serpent. And when that serpent bites you, then... You will not live, but you will die. You can only save your life by looking at the bronze serpent. And the same way we are told that the Son of Man shall be raised up. We are talking about the blood of Jesus. And when you plead the blood of Jesus, it saves you from sin. When you plead the blood of Jesus, you are able to stop the fiery serpents from biting you. The fiery serpents. There is power. When you believe, you say, Jesus is Lord. Then you receive salvation. Salvation is power, dominion, and authority. When you believe that Jesus is Lord, you have eternal life. And you have the power to stop every fiery serpent. Let me take you uh, to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 16. It is talking about the serpents. It's talking about the power that is in believing in Jesus. The power in salvation. The power in the blood of Jesus. You are able to step on fiery serpents. And they will never bite you. Mark chapter 16 from verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. That if you believe, that only if you believe, believing is salvation. Believing is salvation. And salvation means power, dominion, and authority. Begin to receive power. Be begin to receive power. Just raise up your hand. Receive the power. Power of salvation. Receive dominion. Receive authority to command demons. Receive authority to command every chronic illness. Receive the power to do deliverance. Power of deliverance. Begin to receive that power. I release new power. I release new power. I release new power. Power that is in the blood. May you receive the blood of heaven. May you begin to receive the blood transfusion from heaven. May you begin to receive that blood. May you begin to receive transfiguration. May you receive transfiguration. May you be transfigured. May your blood be transformed into the blood of Jesus. May you begin to receive the blood of Jesus. Every sickness, may it begin to go now. As you are receiving the blood of Jesus, as you are receiving divine blood transfusion of the blood of Jesus, may every sickness die. May every sickness melt in Jesus' name. It is the blood with fire. It is the blood with fire. Mark chapter 16 from verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out demons. In the name of Jesus, we cast out demons. There is power in that blood. We are talking about the blood of Jesus, who is Emmanuel, God with us. There is power in that blood. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Begin to command demons to go out of your business because you have the blood of Jesus. Salvation means you have the blood of Jesus in you. 
Salvation means you are transfigured. Salvation means having the power of God. God created us in his own image. And God made man in his own image. You are the image of God. Man is a representation of God on in earth. You are representing God on earth. You are standing on earth as an altar of God. Begin to receive power. Receive that power. Receive a revelation of the blood of Jesus. Receive new revelation. Verse 18. They shall take up serpents. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. <clears throat> you shall take up serpents. As Moses lifted up the serpent, so the Son of Man shall be lifted up. When you speak about the blood of Jesus, no serpent will bite you. Deal with those serpents that are standing in front of you. There are so many serpents that are standing in front of you. Serpent of chronic illness. Serpent of poverty. Serpent of financial loss. Begin to deal with it. Begin to deal with it. The serpent in your ministry. Serpent in your prayer life. Serpent that lowers your prayer life. Serpent that lowers your fasting life. Serpent that lowers the power to give to God. The serpent that eats your faith in God. Begin to deal with it. Plead the blood of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Receive power to take serpents. I release that power to take serpents. I release that power to step on serpents. I release that power of tongues. You shall speak in new tongues. Salvation is speaking in new tongues. You shall speak in the heavenly language. Begin to speak in the heavenly language. Begin to speak. Engage the angels. Begin to speak the language of angels. Begin to speak. Receive that power. Receive new tongues. In the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to declare the blood of Jesus. You shall not die by, but live. You shall live and not die. Begin to declare. Begin to make declarations. We are raising up. We are raising up now the scepter of God. We are raising up the scepter of God. Receive the scepter. Receive the powerful scepter of God. Hallelujah. We are still on the reasons why Moses lifted up. Why Moses lifted up the bronze serpent. Point, the point number one was there were fiery serpents to bite them. Number two, there was death. It meant that if you didn't look at the bronze serpent, you are to die. And so many Israelites died. Those who were ignorant to look at the, the, the bronze serpent died. And there are so many people are dying today. Those who are not in salvation. Because if you are not for God, we only have two spirits. We have the godly spirit and the demonic spirit. So if you do not have a godly spirit, then you have a demonic spirit. Praise the name of the living God. So many people are dying. Those who are not looking at the, 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 the cross. If you are not looking at the cross, so many people are dying of chronic illness. May you receive your healing today. May you receive instant healing today. Vomit out every chronic illness. Vomit out every spirit of poverty. Every divinations. Cancel every divinations. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. No divination. No divination will prosper against you. No witchcraft will prosper against you. No sickness will prosper against you. Every tongue that stands to against you will not prosper. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus. Every gathering, demonic gathering, gathering to discourage you, gathering to discourage you in your faith. Every demonic gathering, plotting evil against you, we plead the blood of Jesus.
may they catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. We stop them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every menopause in your businesses, I speak menostat today. I speak a menostat in the mighty name of Jesus. Menostat in your finances, begin to speak, begin to speak. Get into the spirit, transfigure yourself, get out of the physical. This is a spiritual matter. This is a session where battles are settled. We have God who is a man of war. Begin to wage war, spiritual war. Begin to wage war. Bring down your enemies. Every arrow, begin to speak. Every arrow fashioned in your life. May it break in the mighty name of Jesus. We plead the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. There is power in that blood. There is power of resurrection. There is power to battle. I told you Jesus is carrying the blood of David. May you plead the blood of, of Jesus. As you are pleading the blood of Jesus, the spirit of David is awakening now. It is fighting for you. We are talking about Moses. The ten plagues. When you plead the blood of Jesus, you are releasing the ten plagues. We are releasing the ten plagues to your enemies. We are releasing the ten plagues. Every sickness must release you in the mighty name of Jesus. We are talking about God raising your standards. If an enemy comes to you like a flood, may the Lord raise your standards now. God is raising your standards now. God is raising your standard of prayer. God is raising your standard of faith. God is raising your standard of sacrifice. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Continue connecting yourself in the spirit. Continue connecting yourself. Another point, why Moses raised the bronze serpent. There was pain and suffering. The children of Israel were undergoing very painful moment. They were undergoing suffering. May you begin to be released from every suffering that you are going through. I'm pleading the blood of Jesus. The month of April is not a month of suffering. It is not a month of pain. May that pain begin to vanish now. May that pain begin to release you. May you be released in the mighty name of Jesus. May you begin to receive deliverance. The blood of Jesus is deliverance. May you be delivered from every suffering. May you begin to receive deliverance. Vomit out every suffering. Begin to vomit out. Talk to your belly. Talk to your stomach. Whatever is in the stomach, whatever suffering, whatever is paining you, may you vomit it out in the mighty name of Jesus. May you receive a new covenant. May you receive a new covenant with God. May you begin to covenant with God. May you begin to have a new covenant with the blood of Jesus. Cancel every blood of chicken. Cancel every blood, every blood of bulls, every blood that was shed for your life. May they begin to cancel in the mighty name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus in your life. Cover, cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover your family with the blood of Jesus. Cover your businesses with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You can write a, sub, a subheading. How to access the blood of Jesus. How to access the blood of Jesus. And... We can read from the book of John, John 6, John chapter 6, how to access the blood of Jesus. John chapter 6 and from uh, verse 46, I read from verse 46, Know that any man has seen the Father except he who is of God. He has seen the Father. Very liberally I say unto you, He that believes in me has everlasting life. So you have to believe in Jesus for you to have everlasting life. I am that bread of life. When you believe in Jesus, you have the bread of life. He is the bread of life. You cannot be in salvation and you have chronic illness. You cannot be in salvation and you don't have money. You don't have finances. 
You cannot be in salvation and you are living with demons. You cannot be in salvation because salvation means power, dominion, and authority. Begin to claim that. That is your right. Begin to claim your right of salvation. Begin to claim the rights in salvation. Salvation means power. Just raise up your hand and call upon the power of God. Raise your hands. Call upon the, 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 the power of God. May you be filled with the power of God. May you experience the glory of God. May you experience the power of God. May you experience. May you be visited by the angels of God. I call upon angelic visitation. Angelic visitation. Angelic visitation in your life. Angelic visitation in your ministry. Angelic visitation in your family. In Jesus' name. Begin to speak deliverance. Speak deliverance. Speak deliverance in your family. Speak deliverance in your ministry. May your ministry begin to raise. May your ministry begin to raise in Jesus' name. We continue reading uh, verse 46. Not that any man has seen the Father, except he who is of God and seen the Father. Verse 49. Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. This is the bread which comes down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give you is my flesh. Begin to call upon the bread. Begin to call upon the flesh of Jesus. Begin to call upon that bread so that you can access the blood of Jesus. Begin to call upon the bread. Call upon the bread. Feed on the bread of life. Begin to call upon the bread of life. The flesh. Begin to call upon that. Receive the bread of life. May you begin to receive the bread of life. May you begin to receive the filling of the Holy Spirit. The filling of the Holy Spirit. Filling of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said, I must go so that the Comforter will come. The Comforter is the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Begin to experience the power of the Holy Spirit. Begin to experience the power of the Holy Spirit. Power. Power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is power in the blood. Power in the blood. I want to take you now to Matthew 27. The book of Matthew chapter 27. We see the power that is in the blood. The really power in the blood. The really power that is in the blood. Matthew chapter 27. And we start from verse 50. Jesus, when he cried again with a loud voice, yielded up his spirit. You can underline verse 51. And behold, the veil of the temple was torn into two from the top to the bo bottom. And the earth did quake and the rocks were split. We are talking about the power that is in the blood. We are talking about the veil of the temple torn into two from top to bottom every veil begin to pray every veil that is standing in front of you every demonic veil every veil of witchcraft may it begin to turn may it be broken into two may it be broken from top to bottom begin to pray pray get into the spirit begin to pray engage the angels engage the angels plead the blood of jesus plead the blood of jesus begin to call upon the power that is in the blood may every veil in your life break into two may every veil in your life be torn into two may every veil of sickness break into two may every veil of disappointment break into two from top to bottom in jesus name may it break so that you can pass through may it break today in the mighty name of jesus begin to pray 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 amen amen verse 52 and the graves were opened every grave whoever dug a grave for your life whoever dug a grave for your family whoever dug a grave and buried your resources may they begin to resurrect 
may they begin to resurrect I plead the blood of Jesus every grave in your life may it open so that you can come out every grave in your finances may it open so that you, it, your finances can come out begin to pray 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 every grave say every grave may it open so that I come out may it open for you to come out every grave in your life whoever dug the grave in your life may it open and you come out may it open and you come out may those that dug a grave for you may they be buried alive in the mighty name of Jesus verse 52 and many bodies of the saints that slept arose may you may you raise up May you come out of that grave. Begin to speak life for your businesses. Begin to speak life. Every illness to bring you into the, the grave. May it burn with fire. May it begin to catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I stop every grave. Every grave that was meant for your life. May it burn with fire. I send thunder. We serve a God of thunder. I send thunder. Thunder to your enemies. Thunder to every witchcraft. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thunder. I thunder every sickness. Verse 53. And his resurrection. And came out of the graves after his resurrection. And went into the holy city. And appeared into the army. I'm talking about the power of resurrection. Begin to pray. Resurrection. This is a month of resurrection. Resurrection power. May your whatever was dead in your life. May it resurrect today. In the mighty name of Jesus. I speak resurrection. Begin to speak resurrection. This is a month of resurrection. It is a month of release. It is a month of financial masses. It is a month of release for your ministry. Begin to pray. Pray. Get into the spirit. Pray in the spirit. God is a spirit. Only those who pray in the spirit will experience the presence of God. Begin to pray. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.